all right everyone this is the end result my homemade meatloaf stuck with stuffed with gouda cheese mashed potatoes and corn simple but quick meal less than an hour probably less than 40 minutes tell you the truth so hopefully you'll enjoy so come on in and see how i prepare my meatloaf see you inside why 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 not why 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 not <laughs> Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you have notifications every time that I post. Please like my video, share, share, share with everyone. Then go over to Tyra's channel and do the same thing with her. Look in that description box and order some of her merch from Teespring that she designed herself. Order her books on Amazon and join her channel so y'all can do some great things together and get some of the perks before everyone else. So this video today is a cooking video. I'm going to show you how I make um, some meatloaf and I'm doing it a little different this time and I hope you all enjoy it because it's your pretty lady. I'm getting ready to cook a delicious stuffed meatloaf. I'm going to add onions and peppers and add my special sauce on top. So everyone, come on in and enjoy what I have prepared. See you inside. All right, everyone. So I have my bowl, have my ground beef, and I had Tyra, of course, chop me up some onions and peppers. So now I'm going to put my ground beef into my bowl, and I... Could have cooked all of it, but I really didn't have to because the casserole dish I'm using, I think if I were to use all of it, it will um, run over. So I'm kind of like eyeballing it and um, do we just put the rest in the freezer for maybe some chili or something that my dad might want. But um, I'm just going to use this portion of it now and then I'm going to... Um, Add two eggs and um, normally you it, it depends on you how many eggs you want to use but I'm just going to use two I debated whether or not I was going to use three but I think two was enough so I use my two eggs now I'm going to add in my what is this okay my bread all right, I want to use crackers. I like crackers instead of bread. Comment down below which 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 ones you like to use. I, I actually like to use saltine crackers, but um, I thought they all were gone. So I'm actually, y'all can't hear me, but I'm accusing Tyra of eating all of them. But she actually had some left over. It's just that they weren't in the box. But I told her that's all right. I already started using the bread. So I'm just breaking up the bread. And I'm actually going to use two slices of bread that I'm breaking up. Um, and y'all, you know, I've always wondered why I use the bread. I just remember seeing my mom use bread in her meatloaf. I don't know why. Y'all comment down below to tell me why people use bread or crackers. And there are bread crumbs in their meatloaf. Hmm. I, I've always wondered. I just did what I saw. Um, hey, it tastes good, I know, but hey, it, I prefer the crackers to the bread because y'all know how I am about soggy bread. Can't do it. Can't do it at all. So I'm going to break all of this up and then I'm going to, before I mix everything, I'm going to get everything in the bowl first before I um, mix everything up. So now I'm adding, I think that is um, garlic powder. And, I, and remember, I'm not adding a lot of seasoning because my dad, he doesn't need as much seasoning. So that was the um, 
garlic powder and next I'm going to add I think onion powder I thought I had it down so I'm actually going in the cabinet getting this stuff now so onion powder and then I'm going to add um, seasoning salt yep just to give it a little bit of seasoning I didn't add any salt or pepper because I know that's enough sodium in that already. Now, of course, my lemon pepper, faithful lemon pepper. Got to use lemon pepper in everything. Everything is lemon pepper going in that I'm cooking. It is. And then I'm going to use some ketchup. How many of y'all put ketchup in there? Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to use some A1 sauce. Generic, but it's delicious. Yep, that's the A1 sauce. Next, I'm going to use some Worcestershire sauce. Yes, that's what, that's what that is, Worcestershire sauce. But I think I'm going to add a little bit more of one of them, just because I wanted, I didn't see the color I was looking for. Now I'm going to add the onions. Yes, a lot of onion. And I know how many of you comment down below if you saute your vegetables first and then put them in the meatloaf or do you just put them in raw and let it all cook together. I normally don't. And I'm actually breaking up my egg now because, you know, you need to break up the egg. Um, yes, my fingers could have did it, but it's not going to be broken up as it needed. But um, I've always used raw peppers and onions and just let it um, cook through so it all can get the same flavor. The, the flavor can um, combine within the meat. That's why I always do raw. So now I'm mixing it in good. And I know y'all saying, where is your glove? Um, The glove would let me get in there good enough. Normally I use a glove, but mm, it's kind of constricting. So I washed my hands good so I can get up in there like I'm supposed to get up in there. What I said? Well, restricting. I just got corrected by Tyra. So, y'all, I know I, if I was watching TV and I heard somebody say that, I would have repeated too. So, hey, I just got corrected. It's okay. So, I'm using some more generic A1 sauce. Yep. Give it a little bit more. I don't taste it. How, comment down below. Do y'all taste it raw? I know someone who does taste it. But I know I'm not doing it. Refuse. I refuse to do it. Will not. And that's another reason why I didn't use salt and pepper because I did use the the um the Worcestershire and the A1 sauce plus the lemon pepper. And I didn't want to over season it, which it really wasn't over season at all. Actually, to me, it could have used a little bit more seasoning for me. But, um, you know, you got to have that topping to go on top as well. So I got to do all of that also. And, you know, somebody happy I'm back from Vegas, so they all around me watching and talking. And I said, why are you around here? I'm trying to work. Video and trying to work. Watch, watch. Just, oh, she just missed me so much. Yeah. You better get used to that before I go off to college. Yeah, okay, get out of my video. Um, so now I got Tyra putting the hamburger in a freezer bag so she could put it in the freezer for my dad. I'm going to get my casserole dish. I got a casserole dish that has a lid to go with it. I got fussed at before because I used one without a lid. So I'm going to divide the, the, uh, the hamburger in half because I am going to stuff in the middle some smoked Gouda. Y'all know we love our smoked Gouda cheese. So I'm going to stuff that in the middle. It's not going to be a lot. It's just going to be a layer just to add a little difference. You know, I know some people put egg in the middle or they may put mushroom in the middle. I've seen both. I have never done both because I'm not really a big fan of mushroom. So, so you take your fingers and, um, and y'all, I used to see my mom do that all the time to knuckle. The knuckle to spread everything out. So, you know, we all learn from our parents and we kind of like um, mimic what what we saw them doing because that's how 
we saw them do it, so we just know it's going to be right. So here I am putting the smoked Gouda um, in the middle of it. I'd already had some cut up on the side. Y'all see who's still right there. Y'all, she's actually watching my vlogs for my Vegas trip because I didn't tell her about it. I told her she had to go out there and watch them, and she had to question me because on one of them, I, told, I, I was telling y'all I was going to take a couple of sips. Yeah, but they got a little outrageous, you know, a couple of the, the little bartenders. They did too much. Like, mm -mm, no more for me. I done stop now, cause y'all, y'all got a bartender who trying to, who trying to break the bar by putting every piece of the alcohol in the drink. You know, you supposed to water down them drinks with them players. But I guess they say, it's, I guess a certain time they were saying like, hey, we give them a little bit, make it a little stronger, they might play a little harder. Not I, not I, said Faye, because I had my limit. I only took a certain amount down. When that was gone, it was gone. I walked around and watched everybody else. I know you didn't actually say not I said that. I told you to get out of my video. All right, y'all. So that is done. Now I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to spread that out as well. Get all the onion out of it. Y'all see, I got every bit of everything out of that bowl. That's right. And I know y'all said, oh, no, it's going to fall over. Nope. Y'all know hamburger shrinks. So because hamburger shrinks, it'll be all right. But I am going to put it, this casserole dish, on top of a pan to make sure it does not boil over um, in the stove. Because then I'll be responsible for having to clean out the stove. So, hey, I'm going to think quick. And make sure it does not. But yeah, y'all remember my mama doing that. She'll uh, take off her ring and she'll be going around the, the meatloaf, patting it in there good, make sure it's evenly done. Because, you know, you don't want it unevenly done because then it'll cook, one side will cook quicker than the other side. You don't eat no raw meatloaf. And then I thought of something quick that uh, we could do because I know my dad, he will gladly eat a meatloaf sandwich. That's me cleaning up after myself, uh, going over to uh, put it in the sink and wash my hands. I was washing them like I was a surgeon too. So I know y'all thinking, what is she doing over this long? I was washing them like I was a surgeon. Had to do the um, the soap on my, oh, look at that. Oh, in my video. I had to do this all the soap on my hand and between my fingers and my nail. I had to get it all out because you know the hamburger look greasy. And as you see, I did not put any butter or anything because it's going to make its own, its own grease. So I did not do that. And afterwards, uh, when it's almost done, that's when I put my topping on. I don't put the topping on um, while I'm cooking it because then it'll burn. I don't like it like burnt. I like it good and tasty. So I got my pan. Then I'm going to put my casserole dish on. And I'm going to show y'all the end result of my meatloaf. And see, it's good and full. Yep. So I'm going to put that in the oven. So now I'm about to make my topping. I don't make a lot of it because I don't spread it. I just do a little design. I try my best to do a little design. I'll see what I can do. Um, so that's ketchup. I'm using my garlic um, powder, um, my onion powder. Yep, my onion powder. If I can get it open. Yep, there we go. And I'm going to use some of my Worcestershire sauce and my A1 sauce. Pretty much the same thing that's inside of the meatloaf, but it's just going to be on the topping. Comment down below how many of you just use ketchup or do y'all make a little something extra to go on top? Because, you know, it has to be a little sweet to offset the greasiness of the hamburger. I'm getting some brown sugar also to mix in to give it a little mm -hmm. bit more sweetness and i know y'all well um um you already got ketchup ketchup sweet yeah but it's a little tangy so i'm just gonna add a little brown sugar to get a little bit more sweetness and i'm just gonna do that and put it over to the side so this is actually a super quick meal 
Um, it can be done in less than 40, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I'll say about 30 to 45 minutes because we're just going to have some mashed potatoes, corn, and meatloaf. So the meatloaf is pretty much halfway done now because while I was preparing the beef, I had already had the oven on. So that was good and warm. But of course, I still got to do the biscuits because my daddy can't eat a meal without his bread. So that'll come later after I put the topping on the hamburger, on the uh, meatloaf, and put it back in the oven just so it can brown some. And then I'll do the biscuits. So I know I'm getting ahead of myself. But here we go. I'm going to start on my corn. So already in the pot, I have some water, a little bit of water, and some sugar. That's what I have in the pot, the small pot, because I'm only doing a, a small bag of frozen corn. Yeah, I know y'all said I did not open a can. I got the fresh ones, and that's been frozen. That's that's fresh. I was not cutting it off the um, cob. That's fresh. So I'm only going to add the corn, salt, pepper, and butter. That is it. And like I said, my apologies. Had a phone call. But as I was saying, I only had water and sugar in the, in the pot. And now I'm just going to add some. Um, pepper and salt and butter. That is it for the core. Oh, oh Alright, y'all, excuse me. Excuse that. That was the alarm because in the town limits, we live in the town limits. We're not in the country of Timmonsville. <laughs> we in the town limits, so when the lights go out in town, the lights go out at our home. So they were just coming back on. And, um... That was the alarm sounding. Yeah, we're in the town, but we got an alarm. That is correct. And I'm going to show y'all, I have another vlog coming out where I'm going to give y'all a tour of my dad's handy work that he did of our home. So, all right, y'all, here's the end. There we go. This is the star, the meatloaf. That's my little design I put on top. There's some mashed potatoes I've done, and there's some corn. So, y'all, this was short and sweet. I think less than 30 minutes. So, y'all, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you got notifications every time we post. Go over to Tyra's channel and do the same. And why, why, why not cook a quick, easy dinner? Love, y'all.